House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 3, Title Second to His Name. And this episode, like, for me, it feels like a step down from last week's episode, really. For me, this is an episode that has good stuff in it, but it felt very repetitive. Because this episode is like an hour and three minutes, right? And what they have in this episode felt like it didn't... It felt like they were stretching it, really. Like, what you have is Avera being, like, what she's meant to be, because it's a three-year time job, right? So she's meant to be, like, a late teens, right? Or at least early 20s. And she just comes across as this unlikable character. This whole time, she's like, it's my episode. She's basically not a late teenager. She acting like an early teenager where she's all like, fuck you, dad. That's basically what she is the entire episode. Now, I get the, the concept of, hey, I'm getting forced to marry someone. Like, they're forcing me to marry this guy. Or this guy, or this guy, and trying to convince me that I need to marry someone. That part I get. That part I get. But, Jesus, love it quite. Like, her doing this whole thing, like, uh, the, the end of the phone is basically meant to be mine, and it's going to be taken over. And I'm like, it wasn't even yours to begin with. Like, they had a plan B if. The child, you know, your mum's child was going to be a male. They were going to go to your uncle. It was going to go to Darian. So, technically, it's not yours. And she just comes because, like, every time she's on swing, I'm like... Because I'm like, I don't care about you. I, I care about you in the first couple of episodes. In, in the first two, but this episode, hopefully, with the next time jump, because these episodes are time jump, that she revolves and matures, and, like, I think I'm here in the age, I'm 26, right? I think I'm here in the age, but I don't want to deal with young people's problems, okay? And any time there's any, like, blah, 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 I'm like, girl, just grow some resilience. God damn it, just grow some fucking resilience. And, and, Reveris, like, I, I really enjoy his stuff in it, because he's kind of questioning himself about that, okay, he has a, a heir, technically, he has a son, he uh, yeah, is having this weird relationship with, with his daughter, and he's getting drunk out through this episode, which is meant to be the celebration, the, it's like the second birthday of his son, and he's getting drunk over life choices like did he make the right choices is this like are the gods punishing him for choosing to save the child versus just letting them both die it's all these and he's just like suffering and suffering and suffering and it is because you know with Varys, he's a, a family guy he's a family man he cares about his family he cares basically more Let's be honest, he cares more about his family than his actual kingdom. And, you know, Otto and all the other parts of his council trying to remind him, like, you got, you're the king, you're the king, you're the king, you got this, 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 and this, and this. And that stuff I quite liked. But when anything that came to Rivera, I was like, oh, you, can, can we just please pass, pass along? Can, can we go? Um, but then you got like the last like what, 15 minutes of the episode, 10 minutes of the episode, where we are with uh, Darian and him fighting a war against the Sea King and his methods of torturing people and that is getting Man eating crabs and just let the crabs roll over the corpses and let the guy scream in agony while they're getting their skin peeled off and getting eaten and all that. That, like, as I wise of the character, the look of the character, his methods of torture, you know, 
you know, it makes him a very interesting guy. And I'm thinking, there's a way you can kind of dive into this. You know, dive into this character. But they just make him, like, an article in this. They don't really dive into it. And what it felt like with this episode, I felt like this... You know what? It felt like there was two separate episodes, right? You got all the stuff doing with Varys and, and uh, Avera. And that should be, like, episode three. And then episode four should have been all about this. Because... For me, it's just like, oh, it's two big action sequences. You know, they, they're fighting a war, they, they're they losing, and then they have an upper hand, and there is going to have the warrior's death, and then he saves the day, and then he kills. It's, for me, there needs to be more narrative for me here. It needs to be a little bit more like, okay, what happens when, it, when you're about to lose, you know, as a warrior? Do you just accept it? Do you not? Like, it felt like there was a whole extra episode that could easily be told here. Even if it's, like, for, you know, extra 30 minutes, and you just make it, like, you know, here's two 45-minute 45 ep- you know, 45 episodes. But it just felt... Like, here's the thing. If you're there who's like, but is the action cool? Yeah, the action's cool. And, you know, seeing Matt Smith, you know, being the crap, but, you know, sl- you know, slice, you know, swinging his sword around, and... Being the mass, you know, being the warrior that you know Daenerys, um, uh, T- Targaryen is, yeah, it was cool, and, and you know there was some clever things they did with the dragon, where it's like, oh yeah, dragons have legs, they have claws, they just can just pick one up and fly you over the, you know, and just drop you while they're fl- while flying away. Yeah, they have some creative methods. It's, it's just. What it is, I've seen the potential, right? It felt like you could easily trim some of this episode off, or you could make two separate episodes with this. Like, this could easily be 11 episode se- season. But I feel like because they want to do a time jump every single episode, there's no time for breathing room or letting things evolve. And, um, it just sucks in a way. It really does, and ho- hopefully next week's episode, we get a bigger, you know, we're back to uh, characters, and we make, you know, a very more a back to the, ep- you know, the character she is back in episode two, um, versus this little whiner, um, but, yeah, 